course, for me, still no intent. And Ruben Suarez steps up. Oh, and blasted by Polyp. Well, Polyp guessed correctly, but too much power. A short corner, played out to the top of the box. Left footed thrash. Off the post, right in front, and the goal! Conco has equalized just two minutes later for Sevilla. Instead, a chance from the spot. And blasted in. Negredo has put Sevilla in front. It is 2 1. Go, can he get a second? He does. Abdullah Conco. Sevilla up 3 1. You sure he's a right back? I'll tell you what, knew exactly what to do, although I think he was handcuffed a little bit on that pass. Very, very close to be offside right there. And Ballesteros, for his experience as he is, uh, really didn't do a, uh, a good job in defending on that one. In the end, just uh, I think Conco really fallen over. Very, very close, but just about right, I think. Look at his That touch handcuffs him just a little bit. And look at that push just uh, by Ballesteros. I think he's just, instead of pushing on the body of Conco, he's got to go home. Oh, he doesn't do it very often, but Renato this time connects with the head, and it is 4-1 Sevilla. Oh, defensive breakdown for Levante. Well, that's been the case throughout, really, and uh, I just don't think that Sevilla have been very, very decisive in front of the goal, and I think they've created some situations, but maybe not as many as you think, not at least, you know, the 100% chances, and uh, this time Renato, as you see it here, pointing towards the set. I don't know if you remember my comment in the first half that he doesn't get in situations often like this. And once again, what an impact from the substitute right away. And, and really, I mean, he had to react. By